Good morning. Welcome to Thursday's edition of Devotions with Daily Devotions with Pastor Paul. So glad you're with me wherever you are, however you're joining me. You might be on your smartphone. You might be on your your laptop. You may be on your work desktop. You may be on YouTube, Facebook. You may have gotten our um, email. If you don't get our emails, you should send me your email address so I can get you on the church email uh, list. Um, just send me an email at info, I-N-F-O, at sccbranford.org. And that way you can be up on the latest information. We send almost all of our um, big announcements and big happenings are almost always on a, um, uh, always in an email. So being on our email list is very important. Of course, we throw up as much as we can on social media and uh, Facebook. Um, but when I'm in times like this where I'm doing morning devotions, we got foundation starting tonight, Bible study last night, Sunday mornings, it's a lot of content creation. Um, so I got to admit our online presence um, uh, is not as robust as I usually like to keep it, but just uh, super busy, but that's good. That's That keeps me out of trouble. At least I hope so. Anyways, I'm glad you're here this morning and um, just want to remind those that did not sign up because uh, nobody signed up, but uh, I keep hearing people saying they're coming tonight. You're going to get chastised when you get there because um, we have to plan for these things. And those of you who are not from our church and you're getting a tongue lashing from me, I apologize, but it's very, very frustrating when you don't sign up. And I don't get frustrated very easily and... We don't know who's coming tonight, but I'm hearing people are coming. So you may be there and not have a packet. Anyways, if you're coming tonight, and we are planning to have tonight, it looks like the weather's going to roll out um, fairly early this afternoon. Um, please get there. We start on time and jump into the content at 7 o'clock tonight, Foundations class. If you're coming and you have not signed up, I-N-F-O at sccbranford.org. Let me know you're going to be there. Um, okay, content, because I have a good, 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 good one for you today. I want to talk to you about a blessing for your battles. Blessing for your battles. David is about to go out into battle, um, and you can... They they reference this to 2 Samuel chapter, chapter 10. David's about to go out to war, and he speaks a blessing over the soldiers. He speaks a blessing over the men who are about to um, put their life on the line in service of the king. You may be in a battle that you didn't sign up for. You're having health problems. You're having financial problems. You're having marital problems. You're having emotional problems. Um, you're having relational problems with somebody. There's there's someone that you're you're just struggling with. Whatever it may be. I want to speak this blessing over you today. I want to speak, I want to speak encouragement. I want to speak hope, but I also want to speak a blessing that you're going to come through this battle, that God's going to keep you strong. He's going to protect you. And on the opposite side, there'll be greater blessing than you've ever had before. I love this. It comes from Psalm chapter 20, and I'm going to read the first five verses to you. It says this, in time of trouble, may the Lord respond to your cry. Now, as I'm reading this, I want you to if you're in a battle right now, and, and you know you're either in a battle, <laughs> just come through a battle, and there or there's one that's coming. That's that's just the way life is. Let's be honest. So I want you to close your eyes. If if this really speaks to you, I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to let me speak this over you this morning. In times of trouble, may the Lord respond to your cry. May the God of Israel keep you safe. From all harm. May he send help, may he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts 
and look favorably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory, flaming or flying banners to honor our God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. I speak that over you today. I speak that you will be safe from harm. I speak that God will strengthen you. I speak that God will remember your gifts. I speak that God will grant your heart's desire. I speak that God will fulfill your plans. And I speak that he will answer your prayers today. Now, here's the Here's the contingency on this. Number one, this only pertains to the children of God. If you have not accepted Christ as Lord and you've not made him Lord of your life, then you can't expect the blessings of God. The second thing is, if you're not being obedient to God, you can't can't ask God for financial blessings if you don't tithe. You can't ask God for spiritual blessings if you're living a lifestyle that's contrary to his word. You can't ask God for emotional blessings if you're not in church and you're not you're not spending time with God. These blessings are contingent on obedience. And so I want to I want to speak that blessing to you, but at the same time, I also want to say, if you are right now, if you're in a place, you're, 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 you're living outside of God's will, you're in disobedience to his word, correct it today. Correct it. Stop. Pray for forgiveness. Confess your sin. It says, if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sin and purify us for, from all unrighteousness. Deal with that relationship that you need to deal with. Do whatever it takes to be in a place where this blessing can be afforded to you. God loves you. God wants to, God wants to bless you, but you may be standing in the way of that blessing. You may be standing in the way of God doing what he longs to do, but can't because you're not living according to his way. So I speak this blessing on you. And I also, I also speak to you, do what you have to do to be in the place where you can receive the blessing. Because here's the problem. Here's the problem that has occurred in, in our in our society and in our thinking, because we have become so affluent that we um, that we spoil our kids. As Americans, we spoil our kids. Let's be honest, and we give them so many times what they don't deserve. Now, here's the thing: we think that God operates the same way. That no matter how we act and no matter what we do, God's just going to bless us anyways. And that is not the word of God. God doesn't, God doesn't treat us and God doesn't parent us that way. However, Jesus said this, if you being wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give you, give you good gifts? So if you're a child of God and you are living according to his word, I speak a blessing on you today. Now, receive that. Receive that blessing today and let God work in you and bless you and provide for you and sustain you and answer your prayers. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word today. Thank you that your word gives us hope It gives us blessing. It gives us assurance. It gives us peace. It gives us direction. I ask today that your children would be blessed. I pray today that you would work in hearts and lives. And if we have to do business with you, may we do that. 
I ask all this in the name of Jesus for your glory. Amen. Hey, have a great day. We're down to two, two, two more days. Thanks for being with me on this journey. I'll see you tomorrow.